What's up YouTube, Nandor690 here, and uh, I haven't made a video in a while now, uh, one, because I haven't really seen uh, really too much extravag extravagant going on with the iPhone right now, I understand that firmware 3.1.3 came out, and there's jailbreaks for it, but I haven't updated to it, because there really isn't no point to, there. I mean, there really ain't nothing going on with it. Um, I'm kind of waiting around for the 4.0 firmware to come out for the iPhones to uh, do a video on jailbreaking it. Uh, the beta version is out, but I wouldn't upgrade to it right now because uh, it isn't stable enough and it really isn't user friendly to the average iPhone user. Um, so I would wait and not even worry about the beta version. Just wait until uh, the people that are making their uh, apps adjust their apps to the 4.0 firmware and, you know, just update to it when it comes out. Not exactly when it comes out, but when you see that jailbreak videos are starting to come out for it. In the meantime, I've been working on this right here, and this is my first uh, computer that I've built. And uh, I decided to go uh, the uh, Hackintosh way. I happened to uh, just run across a couple of websites uh, back in late January of people doing this. And I thought it was pretty interesting and a little project to do. And it ended up turning into about a three-month project, actually, to get it where I got it today. And uh, these are all the components that I used. Um, the Gigabyte motherboards, especially this one right here. I didn't know it at the time, but it turned out to actually be like a really good motherboard to use as far as uh, things being compatible with Mac. And I can show you right here that I am running 10.6.3 um, Snow Leopard. And if we go into more info, you'll see here that the uh, Mac software recognizes and sees uh, everything that I have done to my computer as far as uh, audio, uh, Bluetooth, the hardware, um, disc. This was just a generic uh, DVD uh, CD drive that I got. Uh, it recognizes that I do have an Ethernet card. I don't have this or FireWire. Uh, graphics is enabled and I have it also hooked up to my television which uh, happens to be an old Sony right now I'm uh, looking to uh, upgrade that here shortly um, printers it will recognize my printer I don't have it hooked up right now and it does recognize all my USB ports I did get the Apple keyboard and I'm using the uh, uh, Apple Magic Mouse, which I wish I would have gotten these a long time ago, even when I was only using Windows, because they're very sleek, very nice, very well built, and they look great on the desktop. You'll see here that the uh, network card, this Netgear WN311B, uh, it's a little pricey, I guess. It was like 80 bucks but it's one of the few that r is recognized as airport on here and that's nice under software you'll see that uh, I am running 64-bit mode let's see what we got here I can show you under here that in the uh, extra extensions folder I'm only running three text I shouldn't need that one right there with uh, the DSDT file that I patched but uh, something must be going on because unless I have this in here my sleep restart and shutdown over here won't work properly that's just for audio uh, even though I patched the DSDT file for audio for this motherboard 
this is still a necessary text in order to have a uh, full functional uh, audio as far as all the audio ports working and the uh, front and back mic ports working on it. Fake SMC is a CAX that's pretty much always going to be needed. And I'm also running 32-bit uh, Windows 7 on another 500 gig hard drive and I partitioned a piece of that to a uh, fat format so I could uh, transfer files back and forth because uh, I pretty much use the Mac 90% of the time but uh, downloading and watching movies it seems like it's easier just to download it to the Mac and then play it over on the Windows side in the uh, Windows Media Player because they, uh, their media player plays a lot more different formatted movies than uh, QuickTime does. So here's my uh, Snow Leopard and uh, like I said it's it's fully functional everything is working on it. I've had people come over here that have owned Macs their whole life and they couldn't see a difference between this and a real Mac and all these uh, all this right here I got off of uh, Newegg and aside from the graphics card which was 40 bucks from uh, Best Buy I believe and the Netgear card which was 70 bucks from the Micro Center um, the tower power supply all that stuff Everything except for these two things cost me right at 400 bucks, and then you know plus the monitor. And as you can see, I can't get on the internet here, and it's fairly quick. Uh, it's a lot quicker than uh, on the Windows side, that's for sure. And here we go. Here is the Bible to uh, anybody that wants to build a Hackintosh that's for sure they have just about uh, all the information that you could ever want it must be pretty busy in here right now because it is running a little bit slower than usual But yeah, uh, here it is in all its glory. Um, I don't really want to start making videos about how to do this unless people want to see how to like maybe uh, set up their uh, USB drive as a uh, boot drive or you know other things that you might need help with. Um, I would be more than happy to do that, but. I'll wait for a request as far as stuff like that goes. And uh, like I said before, pretty much probably until uh, the 4.0 firmware comes out, um, I'll wait till then to start updating my uh, iPhone videos because I uh, they're a little out of date now. Um, I really do need to do something with them. So. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, or comments, please leave them. And uh, like I said, if you want to see how to do something or you need any help, uh, by all means, let me know.